Lads, it is time for a new season of Fortnite Chapter 5, and they are calling it Wrecked. We have so many confirmed collabs in this season, starting immediately with Fallout and Monster Jam, and soon we're going to get Pirates of the Caribbean as well, and a couple that have been leaked but not confirmed. Honestly, this is the most excited I've been for a season this entire chapter, but in this video, we're going to focus on the patch notes. We'll talk about other things like the crossovers and weapon tiers in future videos, so be sure to subscribe if you're new here. And of course, use code Starheart in the Fortnite item shop when buying this new battle pass. Now, the storyline of this season is that towards the end of the Myth and Mortals season, the Zeus statue in Mount Olympus became supercharged with electricity and produced a sandstorm which took over a large portion of the map. And a couple of new characters have arrived called the Wasteland Warriors, and they do not want to give up control of this spot. They bring a whole new meaning to Scrappy Crew, each who's an automotive expert. And the focus of this season is definitely on the cars, as there's so many mods and varieties of vehicles. They're calling the Southern Biome the Wasteland, and it has a couple of new POIs that also have a brand new set of medallions. First, we have Redline Rig, which is run by the Machinist, a master mechanic. Then we have a Nitrodrome, which is run by Ringmaster Scar. And FYI, there is a confirmed Metallica season of the Fortnite Festival mode coming after the Billie Eilish season, and there are hints of a Metallica concert taking place on the Battle Royale map during the summer season. Usually in the middle of summer, Epic Games takes a three to four week break, and they have trouble filling it out with content, so I think this will be a pretty good way to bridge the gap there. Last, we have the Brutal Beachhead, which is definitely the most iconic looking base of operations for the Wasteland Warriors, so it's straight up their headquarters. Here you'll find none other than the Wasteland Warriors Master Muscle Megalodon. Jeez, that is a tongue twister, isn't it? There's also more to discover in the Wasteland, including Snooty Steps turning into Sandy Steps. Now, one of the biggest meta definers of this season that I can already see is this Nitro effect. And across the island, you're gonna find Nitro Splash and Nitro Barrels, which I believe takes the place of Slap Barrels. They're portable containers that you can throw down to infuse your car or yourself with the nitro effect now if you have a nitro car your driving speed will increase you'll gain ramming power that deals damage and knockback your fuel consumption decreases and you get a buff to attack mods and there's a variety of mods that i'll show you a bit later however perhaps even more powerful is if you nitro yourself your movement speed will increase You'll get an explosive bashing power that has knockback and bust through builds. As you can see from this clip from Rice Hub, this is going to be an incredibly meta mechanic in the build mode. This is something that's going to dominate the competitive atmosphere, just like the Cerberus Dash was last season. And just to make you even more annoying to builders, your stamina consumption will decrease and your reload speed will increase. And you'll also get fall damage immunity. So you'll be able to just run belligerently through people's builds and be a real menace to them. I should also mention that the nitro barrels will fly off when you hit them and explode on landing. So you might be able to pull off some plays with these barrels as well. Getting into the fallout part of this season, we have a thing called the nitro fist, which are a modified power fist. For a heavy-handed approach, put on Nitro Fist to perform a 3x punch combo, uppercut, or aerial punch that dashes you through the air. So this actually provides movement as well. It remains to be seen how good this is, but nothing can be as bad as the Icarus Wings in terms of movement, am I right guys? And also this chapter of Fortnite, the melee weapons have been pretty good, generally competitive with the pace of the shotguns, they really do test your aim when you're in a 1v1 with them. Nitro Fists have 4 charges, recharging every 8 seconds uppercut and aerial punch use one charge while the 3x combo uses none so it's just straight up a loop attack and it also has a radial effect if you aerial punch the ground that slam effect of the Icarus wings think of something like that now we're in the really interesting stuff all of these weapon mods and some of these I think are gonna be game defining especially in zero build the cow catchers and chonkers off-road tires are unvaulted so that's pretty cool but they've added four new mods for starting with the machine gun turret a roof slot and as you can see in these clips it is pretty damn good you were able to do this tactic where you could switch to the passenger seat and fire with your rifle anyway but now they've just increased the efficiency of that as far as I can tell this thing has infinite ammo and no cooldown so spray away boys this is gonna be a very broken tactic 
until they eventually nerf it and i imagine this will be one of the first things they nerf this season we also have a grenade launcher turret but i don't know how useful this will be i think grenades generally fire at a slower pace so you're able to turbo build around them or just move out of the way spiked bumper could be pretty good i've recently been using a tactic where i'll hire an npc and take a two-seater vehicle around and then just ram people while my npc sprays at them with their weapon and this is only going to enhance that tactic. I definitely recommend using this modification. Cowcatcher seems like the defensive version of the spiked bumper, so it's probably going to be less useful. Bulletproof tires, kind of cool. Makes your tires indestructible. Smarter players will go for your tires if they see you in a car. And I think people are going to wise up to that tactic this season just because cars are going to be so prevalent. Then again, the off-road tires are really, really, really good. It remains to be seen how good the new vehicles are at off-roading naturally. But at least last season, the G-Wagon and the Whiplash were not too good at off-roading. And these are all going to spawn in a vehicle mod box, which you attach to your car. And apparently, you may want to replace a mod if the health bar is getting low. So these mods will have health. You will be able to destroy them. So I guess there is some counterplay here. Except the bulletproof tires, since they don't have health. They're just indestructible. And something I'm actually a big fan of, the return of the repair torch and repair box. Repair torch underrated keeping your car at full health super duper important in zero build and low key this item gives you access to fire in very strange situations if someone's hiding in a building or they're on a grassland literally just spray a little bit of fire from this blowtorch and you will cause a lot of chaos apparently they're going to start selling skins for suv type car models in the game so previously every skin they sold was for the whiplash or sports car models and apparently they already have one this is called the behemoth not bad not bad i wonder what it costs though generally i think these car cosmetics are a little too pricey now this is huge the battle bus is gone replaced with the war bus so we actually have an upgraded version of the battle bus we used to use in i believe it was chapter three they are being driven by patrollers on the island to every match hijack one and start a road trip of disarray and they have a horn that produces an emp pulse wow that is new so these were already really meta for squads to be rolling around in and even more so now but this is very interesting. We have the Boom Bolt. So last season, Chewbacca came into the game for the Star Wars crossover, and he had an explosive crossbow. And I think this pretty much fulfills the same function, if not being the same exact weapon with a different skin. It's a fast-firing moddable crossbow that shoots explosive bolts. So you can either tap fire this or charge it, and this is how you're going to counterplay vehicles. This is going to be one of the most necessary things to have in your inventory. Spoiler, by the way, the Reaper Sniper is out of the game. So there's a lot more you can do with your ranged gameplay. And I think this is a lock-in whether you're in build or zero build mode, honestly. Grab that boom bolt, 100%. Now we're looking at the medallion bosses. And first we have the Machinist, whose coin will regenerate your shield over time. That's kind of good. Just for free, it's going to regenerate over time. You can also use the medallion to open the garage holding her special car. Now that's awesome. It's like fully kitted. It seems like it has everything. Indestructible wheels, the spiked front, the turret on the side. Next, we have Ringmaster Scar. And his will give you infinite ammo and a small damage buff. So it's an upgraded Ares coin. Towards the end of the season, people really started keying in on how useful the Ares coin could be. But I think Epic Games was operating on stats produced at the beginning of the season. So this they just kind of buffed Ares coin by giving you infinite ammo. That's very silly. You can also get her car. And it's the same exact card, different skin. Okay, so this is just kind of a bonus for getting the medallions. And last, we have Megalodon, and he will infuse you with infinite nitro. Immediately, this is going to be the meta coin, just like Cerberus coin was last season. And not only that, he actually gives you an SUV vehicle with a grenade launcher. So, I mean, you could replace the grenade launcher. We'll see how good that actually is. But all things considered, I think you're going to want to go SUV over car in this season. Unless you got an NPC. Unless you're able to do the NPC tactics I described earlier. Little bonus infinite nitro on all of the warriors cars so you definitely want to be going for these if you're going for medallions you also want to grab these cars if you're rolling in squad modes maybe you actually want the battle bus but i don't know infinite nitro on a vehicle and then infinite nitro on yourself 
Megalodon is crazy good. That is crazy good medallion power. Comment down below if you think this medallion is a little OP. I think this drop spot is going to dominate competitive. Some more Fallout crossover stuff. We have Nuka-Cola. And Nuka-Cola restores a bit of health and over time, some shield. Nice. So it's a bit like a nerf slurp juice. And then we also have the kind cacti pickaxe a slurp cactus to splash healing cactus fruit on yourself. So this is a remodeled version of something we had in the game before. Now this is interesting. Old weapons aren't a waste. Don't even try to keep the new car smell and vaulted and carried over weapons are at your disposal. So there's some odd choices here. We got Cerberus gatekeeper shotgun and regular gatekeeper shotgun. We have combat shotgun. Hammer pump is still there. Not even buffed probably. Oscar's frenzy auto is in the game oscar is in the game for why i don't know probably planning something i think oscar was the boss of all the bosses in season one so this is probably part of the storyline we'll see how that develops tactical assault rifle has gotten buffs reduced recoil so and maybe it's going to be worth using we'll see enforcer ar is back with increased damage and fire rate never mind people are going to be using the enforcer and just tagging you up thunderburst is still in harbinger is still in huntress dmr ranger pistol and hand cannon nice increased damage at long distance and increased projectile speed so maybe you can actually use this thing to snipe. And of course, the shockwave grenades, which are pretty much a standard at this point. They're an institution. I don't think they can take these out because zero build mode is a part of the game now. Taking a quick look at the tournament notes, we can see that all of the vehicle mods are not actually in there because drivable vehicles themselves are not in competitive modes, at least not in tournaments. But strangely, shockwave grenades are not in tournaments now. Wow, what are you talking about? They really want people to rely on the Nitro and the Nitro Fists. That is kind of crazy, but I guess the thing with Shockwaves is it's not as directed and it's not as uh, risky, I guess. The risk reward factor for a Shockwave Grenade is more in the favor of the person using the shockwave grenade and of course we have the wrecked battle pass which i'm gonna go over in another video check it out it should be right next to me by this point point. and if you want to support this channel be sure to use code sourheart in the fortnite item shop when buying this battle pass it would really help me out i'm currently not monetized we are close though so be sure to like and comment your thoughts on this season down below and maybe tune into one of my live streams where i'll be grinding up to unreal rank in both build and zero build mode this season